Why, hello there. Now this is going to be a very interesting review on this company named Hia Hair. As you can see in the title, I am not a supporter of them. And that is because they have been using stolen images on their website to advertise their wigs. They have also used stolen images on their Amazon site as well. And when I confronted them about it, they denied knowing that they were stolen images from other promoters, wig companies, models, etc. Now, this is distressing to me on a couple of different levels because I myself am a promoter and that is why I watermark all of my photos. It's very... <sighs> it's very upsetting to find a company that does this and then when asked about it, they lie to my face and say that no, these are just stock photos that we get from our factory supplier. The funny thing about that is that stock photos are not usually of people. They are usually of mannequins with the wig heads on them. And I'll insert a few photos of these just so you guys get an idea about what I'm talking about. And so unfortunately, before I was aware of this, I filmed an entire review on the wig when I got it. The wig itself is great, there's nothing wrong with the wig, but the company leaves much to be desired. So if I look a little different at some points in this video, that's because I'm using footage from that original review where I thought everything was fine, everything was peachy keen. And then once I posted a video showing the wig on my Instagram, a couple of people started messaging me and letting me know that he at Hair has been doing this to models for a couple of months at least. And I had never even heard of this company before. I found them on Instagram after they messaged me. It's very soft, it's very silky, and the quality of the cap itself, it's very sturdy, it's very well constructed. I have no complaints about this wig actually. And all in all, I think it's just a really lovely wig. I have nothing bad to say about it. I mean, my only thing would be that, and this is the same with all synthetic wigs, this is not human hair, so it is a synthetic wig, which means that it will be shiny. And I found that through different companies, no matter what materials they use, all wigs that are synthetic are going to be shiny. So that is the only con of this wig. But when you go out into natural lighting, I find that it's not as noticeable as it is indoors, especially now with studio lighting as well. When I look at it, I can see that there is some shine up here in the black. And I will link their Amazon, their website, I think everything else that you need to know where you can buy this wig, a direct link down in the description box. And in terms of describing the wig itself, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a, let me see what it says on their website. It says that this is a gray ombre short hair full head bob wig. <laughs> it's a mouthful. A straight cosplay synthetic lace front wig, black roots to silver, and obviously that is what I got. My only thing is that on some of the photos on their website, on Amazon at least, it looks like this is more of a dark gray, but it is definitely black as you can see. And I really like the hairline because here you can see it makes it look a little more realistic. But yeah, it's a great wig, I really like it. It feels very soft to the touch and it falls very nicely around my face. And the hair itself is very bouncy. And in case any of you are wondering, my choker is from Cyclops Carnival. I actually did a review slash haul of some of their stuff. I'll link it in the cards or in the description box down below if you guys want to look. So unfortunately, I should have done my research before agreeing to work with this company. I did sign a contract with them saying that I would make a video review. And then I would also make at least four Instagram photos, which I completely intend on doing, but I'm going to be completely honest about my feelings on the company itself, as well as the wig. Now, I did message a few of the models and ask if they did give Hia Hair permission to use their photos. They said they did not. They did not even know that their photos had been taken and were being used for advertising. So that is just wrong in and of itself. And I was really disappointed when Hia Hair just continue to say, no, we didn't know that these were pictures from other models, we didn't know that these are pictures from, you know, these people, we'll take them down if you just tell us what photos they are. And that wasn't the whole issue. The issue is why are you using these photos of these people in the first place? Without their consent, without their permission, and without compensation. Because these people take a lot of time and effort into making their photos, as I do as well, which is why if somebody, like a company, wants to use my photos for advertisement outside of Instagram, I usually charge a fee. And then if they want my watermark removed, I charge an additional fee for that. Because once you grant someone ownership of a photo, then they're able to use it however they want, whenever they want, and they can make money off of it, etc. And these, these women did not do that. They didn't even know that their photos were being used. And that's just wrong. So I was very disappointed in learning about this because the wig itself is great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a great lace front wig for the price. 
And I'm just really, honestly, I'm so disappointed and I'm so over these companies lying to people about what they're doing and stealing from other companies. I'm doing this to help raise awareness. Don't buy from this company. They're not honest and they're stealing other people's hard work and claiming it as their own. And, you know, I'll show a few pictures of some models that they're using in comparison to what they're using on their website and the original photos on Instagram that the models posted themselves using wigs from different companies. And they've even tagged in the description box that these wigs are from Uni Wigs or Powder Room D or different companies. So I think that kind of speaks for itself. But, like I said, I don't support this company. I think what they're doing is completely wrong. And I really don't like that they lied to me about it on top of everything else. I'm sorry, Hia Hair, I can't support you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been enlightening, and if you were thinking about buying from them, I highly suggest you don't. Your money would be better spent elsewhere in people who actually take the time and effort to make their own photos and don't steal from other people. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.